hello students welcome to my channel let's solve this problem 325 in this problem we are required to determine the force f1 right so we are required to find this f1 and the distance y right so we have to find this distance y if this x equals to 1.5 meters right and this f2 is given this is equal to 1000 newton right so now if we consider the free body diagram right so then uh, as we can see that this cable is continuous right so the force in this continuous cable will be equal right so the and the force will be equal to this f1 which is unknown right so if i draw the free body diagram so then there will be a force f1 in this direction right if we cut this rope right so then there will be also a force f1 in this direction as well like this right so we will have a force f1 in this direction right and let's say that this f1 is making angle phi and this f1 is making angle theta with the horizontal right and this length is given this length is x which is 1.5 meters so we can write that this is 1.5 meters right so from this lower triangle we can find this theta right so if i write that tan theta from the lower triangle so then this tan theta will be equal to 2 divided by 1.5 right so we can write that this is 2 divided by 1.5 and from this theta will be equal to 10 inverse 2 divided by 1.5 and when we solve this so then theta equals to 53.13 degrees right so this theta is known now this is 53.13 now if we apply the summation of forces along y axis is equals to 0 and if this is our positive x and positive y direction so this f1 will have one component which will be acting vertically upwards and similarly this f1 will have one component which will be acting vertically downwards like this and these are the sine components right so if this is our positive direction so this is the f1 sine of phi so we can write that this is plus f1 sine of phi minus this component so this is f1 sine of theta so we can add this is minus f1 sine of theta and this is equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of equation so f1 sine of phi will be equal to f1 sine of theta f1 will cancel out so we can say that sine of phi equals to sine of theta so from this we can conclude that phi equals to theta and theta is equal to 53.13 degrees right so now we can say that both of these angles are same right so we can write that this is also equal to theta and theta is not theta is known right which is 53.13 degrees now we are required to find this y so since we know that tan theta from this triangle will be equal to y divided by 1.5 this length is 1.5 right and similarly from this triangle this lower triangle we can write that tan theta is equal to 2 divided by 1.5 right so 1.5 will cancel out and we will be left with y equals to 2 meter right so now we know this y length similarly if you want to find the magnitude of this f1 so we will have to apply the second equilibrium condition that is the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and this is our positive x direction right so again we can see that this f1 will have one component which will be acting in this direction so this f1 will have one component like this and this is the cos component and similarly this f1 will have one another component which will be acting in the same direction right so we have two f1 cos components which are acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 2 f1 cos of theta right and theta is known theta is 53. 1 3 and this f2 is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus f2 and f2 is thousand and this will be equal to zero 
So from this we can find F1, F1 equals to minus 1000 divided by minus 2 cos of 53.13 degrees and from this F1 equals to 833.33 newtons or we can say that this is approximately equal to 833 newtons right so this is that F1 which was required and this y is equal to 2 meters.